everyone i am naishis karya from the department of center for continuing education in iisc today we have uh, dr shivalila who is a principal research scientist in the department of ec ma'am can you talk a bit about yourself okay thank you uh, i am dr shivalila from ec department i joined here as a scientific assistant uh, about uh, 30 years back and uh, i did ms engineering and uh, phd in the department itself and i have served in uh, ec department at various levels scientific uh, assistant scientific officer uh, senior scientific officer now i am presently working as uh, principal research scientist okay. so uh, on the occasion of women's day we would like to ask you a few questions so i'll just get started so uh, being a woman in india uh, have you faced any uh, restrictions or how, what does freedom mean to you uh freedom uh, for me means uh, doing uh, you are uh, or pursuing your interested uh, things like uh, whether be it a profession or uh, your uh, hobbies uh, so we create we have to create our own space and work on that uh, in this context if i had to recall uh, there was a, a event organized by our ex um, minister uh, maneka gandhi Uh, at uh, delhi four years back uh, she uh, organized an event to felicitate uh, women uh, who took the job for the first as women who took the job for the first time okay um, lots of uh, 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 from our department uh, late uh, rajeshwari chatterjee was also awarded so department gave me an opportunity to go and participate in, in that event Uh, so i ha- i had the opportunity to meet lots of uh, awardees there uh, one of them probably uh, i have to name a few uh, bachindri pal aishwarya rai then many such people uh, first uh, gynecologist of india uh, like that many and one uh, a blind candidate i forgot her name uh, she is working in uh, for uh, our uh, indian embassy in uh, paris okay. like that many many people who came who had broken the uh, glass ceiling mm. uh, and uh, dared to uh, work in uh, uh, different fields whichever they felt that it was challenging or uh, um, they were interested in mm-hmm. so i call i mean from all walks of life they were selected uh, more than 100 people had come uh, over there uh, for the felicitation so that was a very thrilling experience for me so people have uh, challenged and uh, exp- i mean felt uh, what they wanted to do they have done it so that's what i to feel uh, one if one has the ambition to uh, do something they can definitely do it but with a little effort required okay uh, okay like you mentioned prof sir uh, rajesh, rajesh chatterjee who was the first uh, okay. women uh, engineer from karnataka, karnataka. and, and she was also part of ec department she yes. became the chair, chair of also department. that yeah. and another uh, i would like to add here also another uh, uh, um, professor ex um, she is late uh, kamala uh, sahini okay. from uh, microbiology department or biology department uh, she is first phd from india oh, okay. or iisc maybe mm-hmm. uh so uh, i these two women were also felicitated but uh, unfortunately they were not I'm there not so their right. family members or uh, colleagues came to receive it okay. Okay. uh so also uh what was your motivation behind uh, pursuing a career in science uh from the beginning i used to like uh, science better than ad- other subjects the reason is that um uh when we do the experiments in the lab that used to l- motivate me what we study in theory i used to see that happening in the lab so that motivated me to understand the subject also uh when i switched over from uh, kannada medium to english medium in 7 from 7 to 8 i had little difficulty in studying uh, social studies and uh, other subjects whereas uh, science and maths were very easy for me i didn't feel that uh, <laughs> difference so it was a very smooth going mm-hmm. and also i always like experiments um, that's very close to my heart mm-hmm. so i still do experiments yeah. okay uh, very nice ma'am so uh, this is your uh, interest of doing experiments that motivated you to be in science also uh, there are there exist a lot of biases so one among them is gender bias have you experienced gender bias in any of your uh, career or 
have you experienced it or and how have you overcome, overcome that um yes i did uh, experience uh, personally uh, when i joined um, but to a large extent things have changed in the institute over uh, 30 years uh, and our society has also started appreciating uh, women coming out and working in the science field or any other field for that matter so it's not a um it's not as it was existing earlier hmm. so i didn't pay much attention hmm. to it i just started uh, what i wanted to do i started, uh, worked on that so uh, i never paid much attention to these things okay and uh, so being a scientist in iisc is not easy you have a lot of work there's family and there's this concept of work life balance so how do you do that how do you balance yes. work yes um Uh, both the professional and personal life go hand in hand especially for a lady um, uh, so what i do is i prioritize things uh, 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 of the job at, on my hand so if it is uh, demanding uh, let's say professional life uh, from a job uh, of the office then i take extra time at home and uh, do it uh, same uh, other way also if i something happens needed at home so i take more time there and do it and go back in the evening and uh, uh, compensate for what i didn't do in the morning so it's basically prioritizing uh, things uh, on hand okay what is important at the moment at that moment i uh, focus on that yes okay ma'am thank you so much for spending this time with us thank you so much thank you